So I have done a ton of videos on why Hogwarts Legacy looks like it could be a game of the year contender. I do think it's only right that I do a video discussing and talking about the few negatives that also come with this game. A few negatives you may not know about this game. And that's why today guys I bring you 5 reasons not to buy Hogwarts Legacy. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So as good as Hogwarts Legacy does indeed look and it does look pretty good there are a few drawbacks a few disappointments and in particular a shadow over the game today we discuss all okay so getting into it firstly guys hogwarts legacy is a single player game only if you are coming here expecting to play with your friends unfortunately that is not happening this game is strictly a PvE game without the intention of ever adding any kind of multiplayer which in my opinion is a bit disappointing as team not for even like a co-op playthrough would I believe be enough to pull in many many more players and be pretty cool to actually do an experience with a friend. Imagine being able to battle other wizards via a system a lot like what we see in Elden Ring. I mean yeah I'm overdoing it there, Elden Ring is just incredible, probably the best game I've ever played if not up there with my top 5. But I am seeing and believing that there are people out there that think this will be the next Elden Ring. Now although there's a little comparison if you just run around as a mage within Alden, in my opinion the games are just too far different, it's daft to compare. But either way guys, this is a single player game only, with no mention of multiplayer ever coming to the game. I mean let's hope one day that may change, but I doubt it. Next up guys, and this one is for the deeper Harry Potter fans, and as being a Harry Potter fan myself, the movies and books made a big deal out of a feature known as Quidditch. It's a massive part of Hogwarts. It's a big deal. House versus house. This in my opinion was the ultimate competition between them. So Hogwarts's Quidditch is basically handball on brooms. A dangerous sport but one that's real entertaining. And in a game like Hogwarts Legacy I feel would be the correct time to get a feature like this done properly. The older Quidditch games although not terrible, the world's moved on and I feel it could indeed be an amazing part of this game. Well guys, unfortunately, Quidditch is not a part of Hogwarts Legacy. Confirmed by Porky, Quidditch will not play a part in this game. Which is one of the most disappointing things about this game. I mean, an open world, massively explorable Harry Potter RPG. A core element of the franchise is missing. I mean, it isn't the be all and end all, but it's a feature many fans would have loved to have seen and it will be a massive loss. Now I guess without the multiplayer addition to the game, Port Key have probably thought that such a feature would be a waste of resources. I don't know. Now brooms are here though and there is broom racing. Yeah I know it isn't exactly Quidditch and while well, within a massive open world like Hogwarts Legacy or what it seems to be I'd at least expect some form of aerial challenge on brooms so broom racing it is but it has got big boots to fill. Another addition fans were excited to see was gobstones and wizard's chests. Now guys I can confirm these also won't be a part of this game. Now these have been confirmed I believe to be a part of content originally going to be added but due to time restrictions and the restraint on that time and getting this game done and pushed out they are now a part of cut content. Now during the gameplay showcase Avalanche Software admitted that the developers had to make some difficult choices uh, about what to include in Hogwarts Legacy and that these would not fit into the launch of the game. The good news is we could possibly see them return in a future DLC but we will see guys. Ok so moving on. Now it's confirmed that microtransactions will not play a part in Hogwarts Legacy which is a great thing I guess. But there is console exclusivity. Now this is something we, well actually I wouldn't say we're seeing more of it these days but it is uh, one of those situations I don't think game developers are comfortable with due to the backlash it can usually cause. And with Hogwarts Legacy, well, console exclusivity is a thing. And well, in a certain way, players on one platform will directly benefit in game over players on another platform due to these exclusivities. 
So if you play this game on PS4 or PS5, you'll get to play the haunted Hogsmeade shop quest. This is an eerie mystery adventure involving Hogsmeade shopkeeper Madame Mason, and it's available only on PS4 and PS5, which is a shame. Now the players who complete the haunted Hogsmeade's quest and the associated dungeon will also get exclusive access to their very own shop in Hogsmeade, where they can sell items and gear at better rates than anywhere else in the game. What is this? So yes guys, I mean it doesn't really surprise me that this is a thing, but it does kind of suck for PC and Xbox players out there. But hey, it is what it is. Okay, so moving on and release dates. Now we all know that next gen being Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5 and PC will get to play this game as early as the 7th of February if we pre-order the Deluxe Edition. Standard editions go live on February 10th for PC, Xbox Series X and S and PC players. But if you are still playing on the PS4 or the Xbox One, this game doesn't release for you until April 4th, almost two months later. And well, it gets worse. If you plan to play this on Switch, the Nintendo Switch, then it doesn't release until July 25th. What's that? Five, six months later? Which is a long time to wait because I'm absolutely at no debt. People will have completed this game, fully completed this game, probably before it even releases on the old gen, never mind July on the Nintendo Switch. So yeah, pretty disappointing there. Okay, so lastly guys, we're going to talk about the whole JK Rowling situation. Now I ain't going to get too deep into this. There are plenty of rant videos discussing interesting points, defending both parties. But at the end of the day, me personally, I don't get the whole situation of how it's escalated to a point of people actually wanting to boycott this game because of a few dumb things JK said. I mean, I don't get the whole construct of your opinion differs to mine, shame on you for thinking that way. I don't get the whole construct of your opinion differs to mine, that means mine's right, yours is wrong, you should be punished for the way you think. At the end of the day guys, people within this world differ, opinions differ, livelihoods differ, it's just the way things are. But I 100% don't agree with the way they try and force their way of life on other people. If you want to live your life that way, that's fine. Live it and shut the F up about it. I live my life a certain way. There are many things in this world I just don't agree with. You know what I do? I just ignore said things. I don't try and force my ways of thinking on anyone. I don't try and cancel people because they think different to me. I couldn't care less. I'll just shut the F up. JK Rowling made a tweet where I actually thought she was joking, but clearly she wasn't. But either way, you ain't allowed to joke these days because you will be cancelled for it. I mean, geez, growing up in the 80s and 90s, everybody joked about absolutely everything. These days, guys, you make one single joke, your whole platform's gonna crumble beneath your feet. It's just an absolute crazy world to me. I mean, we live in a world now where the cancel culture brigade will try and take away from other people by pushing their will on them using literally anything to do so, even the most minor of things. Now, JK Rowling will benefit from Hogwarts Legacy. She is Miss Harry Potter. But at the end of the day, yeah, almost all of us disagree with what she has said. There really was no need for it. There's no need to make a joke about it. But this game is way beyond her. And it supports many, many, many individuals who have nothing to do with her. I mean, I won't lie. Some of the things I've read online, some of the absolute idiots who try and push their agenda on others is literally causing the opposite. People are now more so pushing towards the game. And I really ain't surprised. Another thing is, and I've seen this so often, people will agree and support you and your thoughts until you try and affect something they like and want to do. It's always been that way and I see no difference here. And while you guys want to know my thoughts on the whole situation, well, here it is. I cannot wait to play and post this game. And there we have it. On that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.